south, and then it's all changed again. And on the satellite picture, you can see this swirl of clouds just to the north of Scotland. Some broken cloud further south, but this thicker cloud now in the north is giving some really heavy showers across many northern and western parts of the British Isles. These fronts bringing bands of uh, showers south eastward and also lots of isobars, so it's going to turn very windy in the north. The high starting to come in towards the end of Saturday. So here's the uh, satellite and radar combined for the afternoon. Some uh, heavy showers pushing away from the southeast, more in the northwest. This zone in the middle had some pleasant weather in the afternoon and the clearer weather now pushing its way across many eastern and southern areas. But it's up to the northwest where those showers are heaviest. Two zones at the moment across the Irish Sea into northern England giving some heavy blustery downpours, some hail and some uh, rumbles of thunder. Overnight, the showers are going to be mostly in these northern and western areas. Many eastern areas becoming dry, so any showers now will die away, I think, in the next few hours. Lots of isobars in the north, so very windy with a strong, even locally gale force, northwesterly wind. But that won't stop the temperature in some central and eastern parts of Scotland getting down to 3 degrees near a 7 or 8 further south across England and Wales. Saturday starts off dry and bright in many central and eastern parts. Showers around the western coast, more generally across uh, Scotland. The showers then spreading southeast as the day goes on. Some parts of the south and southeast seeing only light showers, and some places could just about stay dry. Whereas up in the north and the northwest, those showers frequent heavy, some hail, some thunder, and above about 800 metres in Scotland, there will be some sleet and snow. So temperatures really low in the north, only 9 to 12 degrees, and no more than 17, except in some sheltered parts of the south and the southeast. On Saturday night, the cloud dying away, but more rain coming into that western part of Scotland. But with clear skies and the winds tending to decrease, we could see ground frost in Scotland and also some places further south too, across England and Wales. That's because this area of high pressure will be pushing in across uh, southern areas during Sunday. So on Sunday, across the south, it'll be fine and dry. In the north, some belts of rain pushing their way slowly eastward. Monday, a ridge across the south, so some fine weather and more fine weather to come during the first part of the week. But this uh, cold front oscillating across the north, giving some unsettled conditions. That's it from me.